Hello everybody, welcome back to RC on Track. I got my front diff off my Savage Flux. We got to take it all apart and put in a pinion gear and this new ring gear here or some people call it spur gear. In the good old mechanic world we'd call it a ring and pinion. It's shaped like a ring and that's the pinion. Alright, so the pinion in this one is broke. We're going to take the screws out and get everything disassembled, slide the new gear in, put the car back together. That's the goal. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and and so let's get going. A lot of screws. I don't think I need to take that one out. The gears I bought are from HPI Racing. Um, got them off Amazon, or no eBay for I think 20 25 bucks or something like that and I'm actually super anxious to get this car back together it's fun and since how this is the only thing that's broke on it since I got it I'm pretty happy with that And the screws are all different, so you're going to definitely want to stack them. So I'm going two, four, six like that. That way I don't lose anything. And it comes apart easy. I'm not trying to tear it all the way apart. I'm just trying to drop this. Front diff. Might have to pull the swing arm pins off the top. That's what it's looking like. they do that's weird this diff should fall off already right let's get a screwdriver that it's like that hopefully we find the piece of gear that broke off in here 
It's gonna get messy. Where's the napkin? my napkins. I don't know where my napkins are. Darn it. All right, let's just go like that. All right. So you can see there, busted off a tooth. Garbage. I'm not going to replace this ring gear if I don't have to the pitch the pitch on this replacement one should be right I really don't want to I know you guys are probably gonna say oh man oh but you also probably bought that new Traxxas and it's already broke so Nicely, that's good. Where's that tooth? I found the tooth. Wow. I'm gonna go get some napkins so I can clean that all the way out. I don't want I don't want any chips in there. Alright, let's get this cleaned out. that cleaned out all right we got that cleaned out let's get the pinion gear in like so Alright, so it'll only go in one way, you guys. You, you can't put it in the wrong way. It's going to slide right into place and turn freely. Now let's uh, slide this thing back together. Good. Nice. Just kind of checking this ring gear before I put it all the way back together. All right, that seems to be good. So we'll get the screws back in it. What's that? I think that. Hmm. 
now. Not too sure where that o-ring went. Didn't go inside, it's not greasy, so probably was just laying on the table already from something else. Let's get these screws back in and then we can try getting the car back together. All right. Um so at this point, you're just putting those six screws back in. So I'll save you guys all those boring details. All right, you guys. So when I took this front end apart, I uh, I didn't take the, all the screws out of the plates or none of that. I just took the two side screws out. I took the steering screws out and popped it apart. Hopefully, it goes back together that easy. And, um, yeah. Hopefully. So let me... Locate my parts. And I need my bumper. Mounting plate for the steering. And I think I know what I'm doing here. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. I mean, took it apart. So this little ring, when you take it apart, don't lose it. It goes right here in the top of your Come on, go back in there. On top of your steering here. You know what? I have an aluminum steering. I wonder if it would fit in this thing. Looks like it's the same size. I'm not 100% though, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with it until it actually breaks. I got that in the right place. Lose one. I think I lost the bushing. Let's see. Oh, that's it. like that. Um, so, I think this is the right one. All right, let's 
clean this bracket off. It's got all the dust for me redoing this work area. I got a long ways to go on this work area, but that's another video. So I got people hitting me up wanting me to repair their cars for them. I don't have a problem doing that. So I've been telling people, yeah, I'll fix your stuff. Now, the only problem I have with taking this apart a week ago, or two weeks ago, is putting it back together correctly. Pretty sure the bumper has to be mounted on as well at the same time. So this thing is really just gunked up. So I'm going to clean it real quick and I'm going to save you guys the details on that because it's just soap and water and a brush. All right, we got that all cleaned up. after we put the swing arms back the a arms back on thinking oh, come on. you gotta put the axles back in you gotta do all that first and I totally overlooked it just gotta get some random pliers here has to be a pain. Probably should be using these wire wire strippers to pull the pin. Look how tiny that, that right there is your drive shaft, that's your axle, I mean, what were they thinking? I would have made that drive shaft the same size, or the same gauge. Going smaller like that. Like that. All right. You guys ever notice with other people's YouTube channels, they're like, hey, I'm going to give away this uh, fancy new truck, but you have to buy some of my merchandise. And then one person's going to win this truck after everybody buys this merchandise. I guess my goal 
It's just to give stuff away. We start getting popular, and uh, I start getting some of that YouTube cash. Here's my thing. Why don't I just, like, give my subscribers cars? Say I hit a 1,000 subscribers, give away a car. I hit 2,000 subscribers, give away a car. And then as the YouTube money comes in, I start giving away cars just more fluid to my subscribes. You know, saying, hey, I appreciate you guys for helping me make some money off this. So in turn, I'm going to buy you a Savage. I'm going to buy you an XRT, you know, whatever, you know. And that gives back to the community. And you don't have to buy nothing because I'm, I'm not selling you anything other than my knowledge of doing this stuff and working on these cars i mean that's that's all i'm doing i'm not trying to get rich off this i'm just sharing my hobby with you guys and so if this ever goes anywhere i will start giving back i don't see a lot of that that guy, uh, my kid subscribed to that guy, what's his name, Mr. Beast. I thought he was cool until the other day when I heard him say, F, F, poor people. I was like, what? What? But he's uber rich, so I guess it doesn't matter. He can say what he wants, right? You guys think that's fair? For him to get filthy rich from all his subs and then say, F, poor people? I don't think, I don't think that one goes there. Kept turning. I think it's gonna be these longer ones above the front. Yeah. So your longer screws go in the front and the shorter ones go in the back of these four holes so if you tore it apart and you're stuck just remember that these longer ones go up front the shorter ones go in the back and i hope i can just like remember where each and every one of these screws actually go because it's not a lot of screws it's just you don't want to mess up and put them in the wrong spots can't wait to get this car back out there and get you guys some videos of it running and doing what it's supposed to be doing. Bashing. Now I am running a Traxxas top on this, but I actually really like the top. It came with the car and it came with all this plastic on all the roll cage. What was that TRX? And um, it's a thicker thicker mill on the plastic and then it's got all all this soft plastic all the way around it so when it crashes it I mean it's got a row cage it, it works I like it I'll probably buy another one for my Creighton <laughs> okay we got that now I'm not too sure on the next step here um that's in place and then we would go it'd have to be plastic i think Think. 
short guys go in here. Yep. So you got these recessed holes here. You're going to want to put your short plastic thread screw in. Like this. And tighten it in. Just like that. And the rest of the holes are for mounting back to the chassis. And so let's get that portion going. I'm just hoping I got two three cell lipos charged up to go back in this thing so we can get a run out of it. Steering. More steering. All right. Here's the tricky part. Not having to tear the rest of this chassis apart to get it back together. This comes up. And drop the steering in place. I could have took the whole car apart, but then I'd been... Put it all back together. Finesse this other side back into place. Without having to take any of the other screws out of it. There's that. Almost. cross member in here my little plastic bushing fell out and the cross members in the way <laughs> oh man. If I can get this thing to slide in, I'll be happy. Alright, bear with me while I make this happen. Alright you guys, so this cross member right here, when you take this car apart, definitely take it out. It's a pain in the neck otherwise. I had to fight my way around that. And then, I believe these are, yeah. So you're going to use your metal screws back in to mounting the top mount to your shock tower. Like 
back. What's going on? I think I got a metal burr in the way. So I pried on it. Good. It's not going to. So, my Allen wrench isn't long enough to go, my hex key or whatever you want to call it, it's not long enough to go through. So, we're going to have to pop these tires off. They were saddlebags for your your battery box saddlebags here. If they're cracking or busting, I just put a piece of plumber's tape around it and put some flat screws in there so that it didn't puncture the battery. All right, you guys, we got it all back together. We had to take both these screws out, one on each side, and then there's one on each side for the cross member. We took those out, laid the front end forward a little bit, Got the drive line back into place. So, hopefully the edit was clean. And this doesn't seem too out of place. But, lesson learned. To put your drive line in place as you're putting the front end back together. Probably the same in the rear. They don't give you enough room to just slide it into place after putting it together. So, yeah. Definitely learned something there. So, it's raining cats and dogs, but it's not going to deter me. We're going to take this thing out and rip it up. So, I will um, get some rain gear on and go out and we'll run this thing in the water and see what we can do. Alright, so just stay with me. Alright, we got the car out. Rain stopped for a minute. Let's see how this pinion gear is going to hold up. I just shut it off, hopefully.
came unplugged. Should we throw a ramp up? I think we should throw a ramp up. What do you guys think? I'm going to lower this camera. There we go. To jump in real quick before I call it. So you guys, the bulletproof HPI heating here seems to be pretty good. jump towards us. I think. Like I said, I love that top. Can take a beating, that's for sure. And it's still going. Man, I bet if the XRT wreck like that, man, you'd be taking it back to the store.
We broke something. All right, guys. So all that happened through this little bashing I did was it knocked the push-pull bar, knocked it off is all it did, and I can't get it back on for whatever reason. It goes over the screw just fine. Oh, I split it. <laughs> I split the ball joint that it connects to. All right, well, I guess we're done for now. Like we say at this time, you guys, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you learned something from the repair of this rig. And I will get you more videos of it. The school might be flooded still. So if it is, I'll go over there and do some water crossing, crossings with it. So, uh, yeah, stay, stay tuned and we'll get back at you.